These compliant mechanisms may appear to be identical, but appearances can be deceiving and all these behave differently. If you take the blue insert, the story ends, because in all three cases the stiffness is equally high. But if you take the red insert, which preloads the system, we get three different kinds of stiffness profiles. The first one is a very low but positive stiffness. The second one has low and negative stiffness, which results in a bi-stability. And the third, which is most surprising, has no stiffness at all. Let's take a look at each of them. These linear guidance mechanisms are 3D printed from PLA. And the idea behind them is to create two dramatically different states of stiffness. It is made up of two individual stages that can only move to one side. The buckled beam on the bottom gives them a nonlinear force deflection that is shown for the left one in the graph. By connecting them with the blue insert, we place them in parallel. And each prevents the other from moving, which gives us a high stiffness. This is the same for all of them. But with the red insert, we move them inwards such that they start pulling on each other. The two graphs now first slide over each other before they're added to get the resulting stiffness. By reducing the length of the buckled flexor, we can continuously change the slope of the middle section until it even becomes negative. Negative stiffness does not defy any laws of physics, but an isolated element with negative stiffness is unstable. It diverges from its unstable equilibrium to, in this case, two stable equilibria on either side. If we can continuously change the slope of the middle section by changing the length of the buckled flexor, then there must be a length for which the slope is zero, and this is exactly what the last system is tuned for. This is an example of static balancing. In a statically balanced system, all forces are at balance over a range of motion. You can compare a perfectly balanced system like this to a ball on a flat surface, as opposed to a ball on a hill. You may notice that the system is at best a good approximation of zero stiffness, but not really perfect. This is because the two individual stages are not exactly constant force, and the middle section of the force deflection graph still has some non-linearities. Also, imperfections from manufacturing and modeling and the nonlinear material properties of the PLA cause the stage to not sit absolutely still. By replacing the insert with a mechanical switch, the design is made monolithic and is easily scaled down.